Hey guys, how are you doing? So, um, I haven't been on in a while. I always start with that, right? <laughs> As if you don't already know. I wanted to hop on and um, talk about real quick. I got a meeting in a few, and I wanted to talk about something that popped up in a group that I'm in. And just really quick, I'm just going to do some sharing here. And I'm actually even going to try to go live on Instagram. You guys know I don't normally do that too well. Um, for those who don't know, my name is Akil Tompkins Robinson. I am the owner here at um, Online Boutique Source. And I am an SEO and online retail strategist. And I can also now add to the mix that I'm an author <laughs> of my SEO workbook. If you've not already seen all of the talk about my SEO workbook. I'm telling you guys, you, you want to go see the talk about the SEO workbook. If you've not already grabbed the workbook, you can um, head over to myseoworkbook.com. You can also head over to Amazon and you can grab the book. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about, and to me, you guys already know, I have a web design background. So I spent um, many years as a freelance web designer before. Um, um, before I got into any of these businesses, but while I was doing multiple businesses, I spent many years as a um, as a web designer. And one of the things, and it came up in this group today, and you guys know I see things in groups, and it always inspires me to hop on and talk to you about it. And hold on, if I'm not quite looking at the camera, it's because I'm sharing this out as I'm talking. Share it on my timeline so my peeps can see. Hey guys, when you come on over, if you are just now joining, I saw a couple of people, a couple of names that I knew pop up. Put in the comments and tell me, hey, how are you guys doing? Where are you joining from? There's a random star that got like started on the screen. I don't know what I did, y'all. <laughs> Do know that I'm only but so good at the part. As techie as I am, I'm only but so good at certain things. So um been a lot of years as a web designer, and um, I was in this group today, and I saw one of the questions that I see from people all the time, like all the time this used to always come up, and it was about why somebody wasn't getting sales to their site. People always, why is my site not working? Why am I not getting sales? You know, what's the problem with the site? And so this particular person in this group, I mean, which was a good thing. At least they were trying to do something. So I'm not at all knocking anyone for trying to do something. I want you guys to try to fix the issue. But I promise you what we're going to talk about here um, tonight or today is going to help you really help to diagnose the issue. So this person got in my Instagram folks, you guys, you guys might lose me because my phone is already dying and I just started. So um, my Facebook folks, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Give me one or something you can hear me. If not, um, I guess I'll know soon <laughs> if you cannot hear me. So let's just hope. Um, so, like I was saying, this came up in this this um, this group where a person was asking for people to go to their website and take a look at their website and critique their website. So they were asking anybody, if you have a minute, thanks you created for the one, thank you for letting me know. You know, anybody, if you have a minute, can you go to my website? And you know what we do in these groups, we're super helpful. So we go to these groups and we're like, you know, people are going to the website, they're like, oh, you know, the logo this and the, the messaging isn't clear clear and all of these all of these really good things like they were really giving some real good insight again i'm not knocking anyone just saying they were giving some good insight but it was not exactly what that person needed to know so here comes me <laughs> and if you guys know me i am all about traffic the traffic is so, so important. That's why I wrote the, work, the SEO workbook, because people need to get traffic to their site. So I asked the, the, the you know, simple question. How many people are coming to your website? And the answer was, I don't know. I don't have analytics set up. And so that led me to thinking, I need to talk about this. Like, we need to have a conversation about this. Hey, Ashley, hey, Nicole, hey, Tam. I see a couple of folks jumping on. My Instagram folks, you guys are going to, I'm just going to end. Because you guys are going to lose me. You're going to have to come over to Facebook um, because my phone is not going to make it through this. So I'm sorry, my Instagram folks. Come on over to Facebook. See me on the online boutique stores page. All right. So y'all got me all the yourselves on Facebook. <laughs> and I'm plugged in, so we will not die here on Facebook. Um, so 
like I said, yes, traffic absolutely matters, Nicole. And it matters the most when you're trying to figure out why am I not getting sales? Is it my website? You know, is it my homepage? Is it my photos? Is it my this? Because the fact of the matter is you can have the best website ever, the best everything ever. And if people aren't coming to your site, then you'll never know if any of that stuff is working. I went to a meetup years ago, years and years ago, um, and it was guys who did a t-shirt business. They were doing kind of a comparison and telling us about their t-shirt business. And they actually did a, um, they did a little quick kind of study where they had up a really pretty site for some time, you know, colors and some fanciness going on, really pretty site. And then they, like, for like a month or so, and then they put up just a plain white site. Like, it just had the, the products, the words that they needed, a very simple logo. Like, it wasn't a bad site. It was just very plain, very white, you know, bland site. And, you know, they did that for a month, and then they compared their sales. And guess what? They actually made more money the month they did not have up all the fanciness. That's the month that more people sold. There's probably more people can see the products and, you know, there's a whole bunch of things around that. But if they didn't have traffic, they would never have known any of that. And that's what a lot of sites, a lot of people do. So this guy, he happened not to know his site, um, know his traffic and know his numbers. But I'm going to tell you, so many people come to me and they're like, Hill, I need a site redesign or I need a logo or, you know, my models didn't look great in the pictures. And I'm like, but how many people came to the site? How many people knew that your models were there? How many people got to see that logo? How many people saw that blog post or that podcast episode or that video that you're trying to say isn't working for you? You know, even with the lies, I said it to somebody else um, in the week earlier, they were like, you know, how do you get your lives to be successful? The first thing you got to do is get somebody on there. Like if you don't have people on lives and I jump on some lives and I see them talking for like 40 minutes to one to two people. I'm not just saying <laughs> you don't know if your lives are work or working if you've got no people there. So no matter what you're doing, whether it's onto your site, onto your social, you absolutely need traffic. Like you need people to come to know if it's actually working. So this particular guy, like I said, just didn't know who was coming to his site, didn't know what was going on to his site. And as a result, he was getting all these messages with all this great stuff and most likely he's going to spend probably the next couple of hours or the week or month getting a new website trying to refine his message trying to do all this stuff and he's going to get the exact same results that he got today the exact same results that led him to come and ask the question to begin with and the reason why is because people just may not be coming to the site so I'm going to share with you guys what I told him. You guys want to know some of the things that I told him to look at. First, how many of you guys have Google Analytics installed on your site or some analytics? I'm going to say Google. Google's, Google's king, so we always want Google. But if you have like Shopify or um, I think Squarespace has it, they give you analytics. They actually tell you who's coming to your site. If you have WordPress, you can use the Yoast SEO plugin and you can put analytics on your site. Of course, if you have my book, there's some instructions and some help. And I even have some secret videos that if you have my book, they're not so secret to you. <laughs> um, you've probably seen where you can go get the resource. And if you have the book and you've not done it for the resources, go do that because there are actually videos on what I'm going to be telling you a little bit now and how to find some of this information. So, Hey, Ginger, how you doing? Okay, Shaquita said, yes, please share. You have Google Analytics. Cool, cool, cool. Amelia has Google Analytics. Okay, so, and make sure you guys share out this broadcast. So make sure you guys are telling other people because we want other people to know, you know, we got our business friends. We got our friend friends. We want people to know um, how to get their information and how to, like, figure out what's going on on their sites. Because, Like I said, this is what's killing your sales. The site is not what's killing your sales. The fact that nobody comes to your site is what's killing your sales. You ever been to somebody's apartment who lived like, I'm gonna say in the apartments <laughs> growing up? Um, you ever been and then you go inside, like you open the door, like on the outside it looks like regular old hood. You know, it's regular old hallway, regular old porch, regular old people you had to step over to get there, regular old hood, and you open the door and they've got like decked out, big screen TVs, leather furniture everywhere. Like everything is just amazing on the inside. That could be your website right now. 
No one knows how amazing it is. No one knows all the goodness that you have going on because on the outside, and you're not getting anybody to come into the inside. You're not enticing them in, which is what we do with SEO. With content, we entice people to come to our site. So let me tell you some of the things I told him to look at. So when he does get his analytics, and since you guys, I see a couple of you guys have your analytics, so I'm proud of you guys. When he does get his analytics, first thing I told him to look at is look at just that overall number. How many hits are you getting per day? How many hits are coming per day, per week? You guys know in the book, we talk about 30, 60, 90 days. So you want to know how many hits you're getting, you know, throughout the entire thing. But don't just stop there. I want to look at three different things in terms of your pages. What pages are they visiting? So when they come to your site, Google Analytics will tell you all pages, all pages that people are going to. Somebody may come to your homepage and then turn around and spend more time on your blog pages. And you won't know that unless you look at those all pages. So you want to know the all pages. The other thing you want to look at is what is the landing page. So the landing page is really important because that's the page that somebody comes in on the first page. That's the page that got them there. And let me tell you what's important, especially if you do a lot of social media. Who here does a lot of social media? Let me know. Give me like a one or two if you do a lot of social media. So if you do a lot of social media, you definitely want to know because that's usually the page, even in Google, that's the page that people saw and got them there. So if you posted a dress and that dress led people to come to your site, you want to know that that's the page that they landed on, that that's the dress. Because most people, most people spend a lot of time on their homepage, but they don't realize what's really the big draws are all the other pages. Unlike a house, you can get into somebody's website anyway. You can land on any page. You can come in any door. So it's important for you to know what pages, what doors someone is coming into. So that way you know what pages and what doors to make sure look their best. Does that make sense, that make sense to you guys? We want to know what to dress up. Because if not, you spend a bunch of time on stuff that people probably aren't even seeing. So you want to make sure you are dressing up the parts that people are really going to see. So that's why you want to pay attention to that all pages thing. And then you want to pay attention to the landing page, the page that they're coming out. Then you want to pay attention also to the exit page. What's the last page that they were on? And the reason why you want to do that, especially if you're not getting sales, is you want to know what chased them away. What, why did they not stay? Why did they not make it through your checkout? You know, did they get stuck on the checkout page? Did they get stuck on, you know, some people have like a double checkout page. Where do people get stuck that led them to saying, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not, I'm not, I don't like this site anymore. I don't like this article or that wasn't really that interesting to me. So you want to know what's that page that's running people away. And I'll tell you guys, nine times out of 10, it's an error. They're running somewhere. They're clicking a link that doesn't work or they're doing something that is literally just not working for them. And so most people, people aren't going to email you and tell you, oh, I can't get to something on your site, so I can't purchase from you. They're just not going to purchase from you. It's just like when you go to the mall and you walk into a store, you might walk around, look at a couple of racks, you know, the person at the door is like, hi, can I help you? And you're like, no, nah, I'm good. And you continue to look on your own and then you just walk out. You don't say bye. You don't say you didn't have my size in that dress. You don't say, no, nah, I'm not into any of this stuff. You just walk out. So they never know what's that thing that ran you away. But if we're kind of fortunate being online that if you look at analytics, you can see what was that thing that ran people away. So that's really super important looking at that exit page. So those are some of the first things I told them to look at. Look at some of your pages. Look at all the things that are going on there. The next thing I want you guys to look at is how long they're staying on a site especially if you're a blogger or you do videos or have any of that kind of stuff on your site people should be spending some time with right you know an article you guys ever see where it says like a 20 minute read or a five minute read you know how long it takes to read your stuff so if i only sit on your site for 30 minutes that's what that means i didn't read it i wasn't really that interested maybe i came for one thing and this this didn't give me what i was looking for so i ran away but for some reason they didn't make it to that page do you want to look at the average of how long people are staying on your site, how long people are staying on the different pages? And like I said, if you guys got the book and you went to the little secret resources, make sure you go to the secret resources. There's a video that shows you how to look for all of this stuff. 
exactly where you'll find it, where it is on the screen, and all that other good stuff. So those are some of the things that I told them to look at. You know, look at your pages, look at how long people are spending on your site, look at where they're coming from. This is another really, really important thing because we spend a lot of time doing a lot of things that don't give us any results. So I know people spend all day on Instagram or they might spend all day on Facebook or they're spending mad money on Facebook ads, but they don't know if that's what's really giving them sales. They're assuming, well, since I've got a Facebook ad, then that must be why somebody purchased this. Or since I've got a Facebook ad, that must be why nobody's purchasing this. So they blame it on ads, but they don't have any data behind it. If you look in Google Analytics, it will tell you every single website that is sending people to you. And I'll tell you, I found things like I was featured on a site. How I found that I was featured as one of the top 25 e-commerce podcasts is not because they told me. They didn't even tell me, y'all. They did not email me. They did not tweet me. They didn't do any of that. I happened to be checking my analytics and was like, hmm, what is this site? Why am I getting traffic from here? I clicked the link and here's why. I'm up there with Pat Flynn and Russell Brunson and Online Boutique Podcast. That's exactly how I found out that I got featured somewhere, which is pretty dope, <laughs> that I got featured somewhere just because I was looking at my analytics and I saw that they were sending traffic. I have podcasts or um, posts that I commented on years ago that still send me traffic. And I can see this. Most people are like, oh, that's old. It's not doing anything. Let me tell you, those things are still working out there, still working to my benefit. I know when I do a podcast or when I do a guest post for somebody, I know how much that's actually returning and the return on that investment. I know how many that's bringing to me, not because I gave them a special code or a special link or any of that other stuff, purely because I'm looking at my Google Analytics. Your Google Analytics will show you all of that stuff. So that's and Let me know if you guys have some questions. I see a couple of other folks on. Hey, Deborah, haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? So that is, um, that's what I told him <laughs> today. And that is what I am telling you guys. So if you're wondering why am I not getting sales and you're looking at your website like, oh, something must be wrong. You're ready to hire a designer, do all this work, spend all this money. Before you do any of that, I want you to spend some time with your analytics. If you've got Google Analytics installed, make sure that you um, that you're looking at these numbers and looking at all the things I just told you. If you don't have it installed, install it. Like the moment you install it, it starts looking at your traffic. It starts telling you. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if you've got, some people always usually ask me, you guys haven't asked me yet, but somebody will, what's a good number? If you've only got a couple of hundred or you know, two, three hundred, maybe 20 on a day, those numbers aren't that great. I'm gonna just tell you, you want in the thousands, you want in the thousands of hits, especially for my e-commerce folks. E-commerce conversion is only two to three percent. So think, if you've got a hundred hits coming to your site per day, and if everything is amazing, you'll get two sales, two to three percent. Like that's what we're looking at. So if you've only got 60 or 70, that's why you're not getting sales. You just don't have enough people. If you've got 200, 500, and then you're not getting as many, you're not getting that two to 3%, then you can start looking at other things to like start to optimize. But really in the traffic, especially for my e-commerce folks, you want in the thousands. I know no one wants to hear that, but I'm telling you, you want in the thousands. You also want to make sure you're getting those email addresses. Like people ask me, how does your email list just grow? And you know, I don't ever see you sharing any of this stuff about your email list because they come to my site and I hit them with a pop-up. And then when they're on another page, I hit them with another thing. And then if they go to three pages, I actually have what we call a welcome mat. And a welcome mat comes up and says, hey, you must like it here because you spent a lot of time on our site. You know, don't you want to sign up for this? And people do. So all of these things that just by getting the traffic can help to fuel the rest of your business. It's going to fuel your sales. It's going to fuel growing your email list and all these other things. But you don't know any of that until you've checked your analytics. So. I don't see any questions here. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Quick 20 minute um, live just to kind of go over that. Hopefully I helped you. Um, I'm gonna tell him to come watch this. So I'll help him some more too. And um, we should be getting our traffic and getting more sales to our site. I will see you guys later. Have a good night.